my friends, my name is Marcos Sarris, I am CEO of GoLedger, a company that specializes on blockchain development. Today we're going to talk about the initial setup for using our Hyperledger Fabric Chain Code Library, GoLedger CC Tools. For those who are new at our channel, please consider watching our beginner's tutorial video. I'll, I'll post the link at the description below. We're going to use GoLedger CC Tools Library version 0.72 and also our demonstration repository that's available on GitHub. After cloning this repository, we're going to rename our chain code and start a new network locally on our machine. Let's begin. First of all, let's clone our demonstration re repository. I am right here at uh, the GitHub page. Let's copy and OK, git clone. All right, this repository comes with the default name of CC2's demo, and we're going to rename it for another chain code name. Let's call it libraries-cc. The first thing we are going to do right now is, is to rename the directory name. So CC2's demo for library. Okay, I already have the demonstration repository here with me. Let's watch a little bit some of its contents. The demonstration repository comes with a basic chain code. We can see here some of its contents here at this uh, chain code directory. And also with a basic REST API if you want to connect with your, your legacy systems and so on. But today we are going only to use uh, any script that's available right here. That's for renaming uh, the, the chain code name. That's called rename CC. Let's use it right now. I just call it rename projects. And as, a, as, a, as I told, we are going to rename it to library-cc. Okay, that's it. That's the, after that, our, our, our repository is already set up for us to begin with the demonstration and to use a Hyperledger Fabric Network inside our local machines. First, to initialize the Hyperledger Fabric Network inside the machine, we need to vendor both the chain code and the REST API. We call it Go Mod Vendor at the chain code library. And after that, we go to the REST server library and we call this script right here, it's called npm install.sh. It asks me uh, to create this uh, network, Docker network right here. Let's copy and do that right now. Okay, so let's proceed with npm install. Uh, and then we are going to vendor the, the REST server uh, directory right now. All Node.js packages have been downloaded and after, so we are ready to go. And everything we, we need to, to do right now is to call the start dev script that I'm doing. And uh, the demonstration that GoLedger has, we are, going, we are going to uh, create all the artifacts, all the crypto artifacts, and also all the, the necessary artifacts for a Hyperledger, a complete Hyperledger fabric network to be deployed on our machine. All right, our Hyperledger fabric network uh, has been deployed locally on my machines. We can see some of the, the actions that uh, the scripts has made as creating a new channel, uh, creating uh, all the orgs and making them uh, gather together with the with the the channel that we just created. We here locally we do have uh, three orgs. Three. These are some of the containers that are deployed inside my machines that make all these three organizations uh, work as a a, a a blockchain, a hyperledger fabric blockchain network. Let's uh, and we do have. Uh, three REST APIs that are connected, each one with one or organization. Let's access them right now. Uh, they are already available. One at port 80, right here. 
Uh, okay, and the second one at port 980. And the last one at port 1080. Okay, and they are available for us to, to connect and to make everything work uh, with our, our Hyperledger Fabric blockchain. Let's make a final test using uh, an artifact that's a web app that's available uh, also uh, by GoLedger. Uh, we can call this web app using this script right, he right here. It's called Run CC Web. Let me, we pass the, the port as an argument. And after that, we can call it. All right. And we can use it right now. Okay, here we can connect with both with either all the all the, the, the REST API that we do have for organization number one, organization number two. Okay, all right, and that's it for today. Uh, hope you liked the video, and for those who liked it, please consider subscribe.